Typically, Terraria players tend to stick to using a full set of armor. This is typically because certain armors grant powerful set bonuses that lure players in, such as Spectre Armor's Ghost Healing or Hold Armor's Holy Dodge. However, in many cases it may be advantageous for players to forego the whole set and instead use hybrid setups. When, why, and how should a player do this? Well, this is mixed armor sets in 100 seconds. In essence, the decision to use a mixed armor set boils down to a simple fact. Number, go up. We are simply exchanging a qualitative set bonus for a quantitative stat boost. Armor pieces in each armor set have their own piece set boosts which are part of the whole, and what we are simply doing is simply picking the best of each set to mix together for the highest stat boost possible. For example, pre-Plantera. If you are willing to give up Hollowed Armor's Holy Dodge or Chlorophyte Armor's Leaf Crystal, you can gain a lot of damage for your sacrifice. Note that since these armors are multi-class armors with helmet variations, most of the damage boost is contained within the helmet piece, while the all-class body pieces are left with relatively few boosts. This means you can swap out these two pieces. Old One's Army Armor, which often has lots of raw stat boosts, is very often used for this role. If you're a melee, you can swap out these two pieces with Monk Armor. Sure, you might lose a set bonus, but you also gain a lot of damage, defense, and movement speed boosts. This also applies to other classes as well. The Huntress's Jerkin, for example, gives you 20% more range damage. The Apprentice's Trousers for Mage also gives you 20% more magic crit chance and movement speed. Post Golem, Tier 3 Old One's Army Armor pieces are capable of providing even greater boosts, typically up to 20 or 25% on damage, crit chance, and movement speed. Mixing pieces also provides other benefits. For example, the Valhalla Knight Breastplate gives impeccable regeneration if you need survivability, and almost all of these pieces also give summon damage along with their specific class buffs, meaning that your Psy minion can be that much stronger. But in the end, whether you should mix is up to you. It's definitely for those with a more aggressive playstyle, since you're often giving up defensive boosts just to use them. There's also a fair bit of optimization needed, and there's definitely ways to mix I haven't mentioned in this video. But regardless, it's definitely an interesting proposition, and one you should definitely consider if you haven't done it before. And that's mixing armor in 100 seconds. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, I ask you to subscribe. Here's some similar content of mine that you might like if you enjoyed this one. Either way though, thank you, and good day and goodbye.